Hey everyone, I'm Casey with Sea Reeves Makes, and today I'm going to show you how I add those finishing touches to my cutting boards. I have some clients who requested rubber feet on their custom cutting boards, and at first I simply bolted them onto the bottom and thought nothing of it. It does what they want and it looks good. However, as I've built more and more boards, I wanted them to appear lower and have a sleeker profile, while still offering the no-slip benefits of the rubber feet. I decided that I would cut counter bores into the bottom to allow for the feet to be recessed and out of sight. I simply chose a Forstner bit that fit the feet and set the depth to where about an eighth of an inch of the foot is protruding from the bottom of the board. The feet that I use are from Home Depot and they are fairly inexpensive. However, I also add stainless hardware as the screws included with the feet are not stainless. I'll drop a link in the description down below to these feet. Another feature that I like to add to certain boards is rounded corners. I used to do this simply by tracing a washer and sanding away the material to the line. This works fine, but again, I wanted to add detail and consistency to my boards. Rockler has this corner radius template kit and it's great for this kind of application. You simply pick the radius that you want and set a flush trim bit up in your router table and get to work making consistent corners. I had six boards to do and it took less than 10 minutes from start to finish. You simply set the jig up on the board and pass it across the bit until you get a clean consistent cut. The bearing on the bit acts as a guide and follows along the profile of the template. One thing you want to keep in mind with this is the grain direction. If you go the wrong direction, you will blow out the grain and have a bigger problem to deal with. To add the feet, I measured out a location and drilled a hole into my template so that I could mark the board after cutting the corners. This would make it easier to drill these locations later on at the drill press. I set my Forstner bit and drill press and got to work drilling the holes. One area that I need to rectify in my shop is the drill press dust collection. Once all the boards are done, they get an eighth inch round over and a lot of sanding. The end result though is a gorgeous cutting board that your client will rave about. If you like this process or have any questions or suggestions, please comment down below. Also, if you like this video, please subscribe and stay tuned for more. I'm Casey with Sea Reeves Makes, and thanks for watching.